Hey guys, welcome back. So it's the afternoon right now. It's Thursday. We're going to talk about a couple of stories here. The U.S. overtakes uh, China with Bitcoin miners. Uh, we have the largest Canadian ETF going for uh, mutual funds. Coinbase is launching uh, NFTs. And then we have uh, some ARK Invest for Bitcoin futures ETF. Uh, and um, Elon Musk's uh, bet on Bitcoin and how it's paid off for him so far. So let's get into the... News here, so U.S. overtakes China as biggest Bitcoin mining hub after Beijing ban. China's share of global hash rate has fallen from 44% to zero between May and July. The country accounted for three quarters of the global hash rate in 2019, which is huge and obviously now down to zero. So all of that has moved out to other countries, United States, um, Kazakhstan, and uh, Russia. The U.S. share of the global hash rate increased from 17% in April to 35% in August, and uh, Kazakhstan's rose 10% point to 18% in the same period. So China's Bitcoin mining ban resulted in a great mining migration, said Sam Tabar, chief strategy officer at BitDigital, a New York-based Bitcoin miner. The company suspended its operations in China, which it had been uh, widening down since October 2020 after prohibition. And then here's the kind of time frame of how everything changed played out here as far as crypto ban has led to U.S. Bitcoin buying boom, monthly hash rate as percentage of the world uh, total. And then it's kind of cool to see how since 2019 this has changed, and this only takes a couple of seconds. So you can see that by tw you know, 2020, U.S. is, what, number six spot right now, 3.5%, Kazakhstan is at 35 Russia is at 6%. And you can see by uh, March and then May 2020, that Russia is 9.2, U.S. is 8, so we're getting on them. China is obviously still way up there. And then as we get into uh, July and September of 2020, you can see the U.S. becomes number 7. Obviously, China had a huge amount still there, uh, over 60% of the hash rate. But then as you get into November and then January of this year, you can see U.S. at 10.8. Uh, China is close to probably 60, under 60 right now. And then as we get into March of this year and May, We'll see that flip happening, and then you got the May flip, which happens here. Now you got U.S. over 30 some percent, Kazakhstan at 12.4, Russia at 11, China at 9.9, .9, and then you know completely flips totally after that. So just thought that was great news, a great thing to see. Um, so the effect of the Chinese crackdown ha is an increased uh, ge geographic distribution of hash rate across the world adding that it's a positive development for network security and the decentralized principles of Bitcoin, which I agree, that's totally great. Um, it's always not a good thing to see one country have all the hash rate or majority of it. Uh, Beijing has since gone further, labeling all crypto-related activities illegal last month, extending its prohibition to include foreign operators. Uh, the China shutdown has been great for the industry and U.S. miners, said Fred Thiel, chief executive of uh, Chief Executive of Marathon Digital Holdings, a Las Vegas-based crypto mining company. Overnight, fewer players were going after the same finite number of coins, which we obviously saw. Uh, but Theo said that the competition has intensified as Chinese miners settled into new locations, notably Kazakhstan. We're back to where we were before the shutdown, so I expect the situation to stabilize. And so do I. I think, you know, it's been a couple months since that happened. Things will eventually stabilize going forward. Uh, next story is a Bitcoin ETF. So largest Canadian Bitcoin uh, ETF opens to mutual funds investors. So Purpose Investments, an institutional firm with more than one, 12 billion in under management, on Wednesday announced the launch of a mutual fund units for the world's first ETF backed and settled by Bitcoin. So they said, we're happy to provide another easy and secure way for Canadian investors to gain exposure to Bitcoin, uh, said some safe, safe. Uh, mutual funds that allow investors exposure to Bitcoin have risen in demand by investors worldwide this year. We've seen that a lot of places, uh, U.S. especially, there's a lot of demand for it. We'll just have to see if the SEC actually approves one. The purpose Bitcoin ETF invests directly in Bitcoin, allowing investors efficient exposure to Bitcoin without the associated risk and burden of self-custody. So obviously a lot of people are still hesitant about, you know, buying themselves, uh, getting on exchanges, having keys and all that stuff. So this is an easy way for them to do that. The purpose Bitcoin ETF aims to accurately reflect the price of Bitcoin, meaning its units may be purchased or redeemed at a net asset value per unit of the applica applicable class without premiums or discounts, which might otherwise be associated with listed Bitcoin securities like Grayscale. Right, so Grayscale a lot of times has a premium to the price uh, compared to Bitcoin price itself. Uh, the purpose Bitcoin fund currently has 1.2 billion in assets under management consisting of 21,688 uh, Bitcoin. All three of the offerings are backed by at least 
0.001 Bitcoin per share with a current net asset value between $10 and $12. There are currently between 5,000 and 7,000 available shares per Bitcoin in the funds. In the US, the SEC has yet to approve a Bitcoin or Bitcoin futures backed ETF. Despite many filings and a rise in demand this year, an ETF in the US would open the floodgates to new institutional investors that cannot or will not otherwise get any Bitcoin price exposure. So that is also absolutely true. And um, a lot of people are hoping that obviously that this coming October, November, December, we may get a final approval from the SEC, at least on a futures backed Bitcoin ETF. So we'll have to keep an eye on that one. Uh, Next is Coinbase is launching an e uh, NFT. So Coinbase has moved, has opened a waitlist for marketplace that lets users mint, collect, and trade non-fungible tokens. The NFT market has boomed this year with sales volume topping 10 billion in the third quarter, according to De uh, Depp Radar. The move could be a way for Coinbase to branch out into new revenue streams. It currently relies heavily on exchange fees, and that is the case. Um, I saw a tweet earlier from Brian Armstrong, which is their CEO that they have over 1 million people already signed up for it. Um, so that's a lot of interest, obviously, in a short period of time. So that's great to see. That's obviously more adoption, more things happening. So I wonder how that's going to be back, though, whether it's going to be uh, on Ethereum or Cardano. We'll have to find out on that one. Um, next, we have a new ticker in ARC filing shows Bitcoin futures ETF approval imminent analyst. Uh, so according to Bloomberg senior ETF analyst Eric Blue, blue, um, blotch, blood, I can't pronounce it, Eric B. There are good signs that the SEC will approve Bitcoin futures ETF applications from ARK Invest and Valkyrie. So Kathy Woods, ARK Invest Management LLC, filed for a Bitcoin futures ETF under the ARKA ticker, while Valkyrie ha has assigned its BTC futures prospectus with the BTF ticker. According to Bloomberg analyst Eric B., firms typically update their pro proposals when they have everything set and ready for launch. Right. This is important. Ready for launch. So it's suggesting that Valkyrie may soon be given the green light by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, to go ahead with their ETF. So Eric B. also pointed out, um, notably, Valkyrie just updated their Bitcoin futures ETF prospects, which typically only happens when ducks in a, in a row ready for launch. They, they added their BTF, uh, although no, no fee still. Can't say this is a done deal type, uh, type evidence, but... Uh, Good sign in his own opinion. So we'll have to obviously keep an eye on it, but there is obviously a lot of hope for Bitcoin futures ETF coming soon in the next couple months. So we'll have to keep an eye on it. And lastly, we have the big bet that uh, Tesla made on Bitcoin. So Elon Musk Tesla is already $1 billion in profit in, from holding Bitcoin. So Tesla's Bitcoin stash is now worth $1 billion more than when uh, Elon Musk approved the purchase in February. So if you recall, they bought almost, uh, I think, one and a half billion worth of Bitcoin. So Tesla's bold foray into Bitcoin BTC market has been paying off in 21 as BTC price has been rallying in October to hit over 58,000 on October 14th. Tesla currently holds roughly 43,200 BTC worth roughly 2.5 billion at today's prices. According to online monitoring resource Bitcoin Treasuries, this is approximately 65% or one billion more than what the car maker paid in February when Elon Musk company revealed that it had added 1.5 billion in BTC to its balance sheet. So the more companies that see this, that Tesla has made $1 billion in just basically, what is that, eight months from just buying Bitcoin and holding on to it, you're going to have a lot more companies getting in, in on this as well. Um, they're not going to let this go unnoticed. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the charts here. But first, obviously, comment down below as far as what you guys think of all this stuff. Let me know what you think of an ETF happening this year. Um, and then as far as U.S. taking over China, I think that's great news. And then Coinbase, NFTs, what do you guys think of all that stuff? So let me down in the comments down below. Let's take a look at here the charts. So Bitcoin is at now 57,000. It's come back down a little bit. It was at a high of, what was it, $58,520. Um, it's obviously come back down a little bit, had a little pullback. But we're still above our support line, which is 57,000, which is good to see. We kind of bounced off of it, came back up a little bit. Um, so we'll have to keep an eye on it. RSI is still looking good and volume is not that bad. So I think we're in for a you know, wild ride coming up here. Ethereum is also up nicely today. It's up almost 5% to 3,785. And it is getting close to our all-time high, which we reached uh, at 4,384. So we're only $500 off, right? $600 off from where we were for the all-time high. So something to be mindful of. Cardano is... Trading flat. It's just trading in that kind of zone right now. It's at two dollars and eighteen cents. 
We'll have to see if it breaks out of this uh, accumulation phase here and, and goes either up or down. Obviously, the more times it touches the uh, support line, it's more likely to come back down, but it touched it here three times and went above it, so we'll have to monitor it as well. The dollar hash graph is up nicely. It's up almost 7.5% uh, today. It was up higher to almost 40 cents. It's at 38, 38 cents right now. And it's looking like it's breaking out of this channel here a little bit that it was in accumulation phase, and it looks like it might be heading higher in the coming days. Litecoin is at 180. It's still trading in that kind of uh, pattern as well. Accumulation phase, it looks like right now. Price is not doing anything uh, major. It did bounce a little bit today, but uh, we've had this bounce before and it came back down. So we'll have to monitor that one as well. Doge is at 23 cents, so it's still in that channel between the 50 day and the 20 day moving averages. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that one as well. What else do we have here that's interesting? Solana is at 150. It is uh, trading below the 20 day moving average. Uh, it's just battling with that right now. We'll still have to see if it can get above it or not. Then we got uh, mining stocks. We got Hive. Hive is up right now uh, a penny. Bitfarms is down two cents to 501. Hut is down 26 cents to 1056. Mara is at 42.70, so it's down $1.90 right now, and Riot is at 26.02. It's up 38 cents currently. And then we got Shiba Inu here. Shiba is at, what is that, uh, 0 0.0000275. It is also trading kind of flat right now in this kind of accumulation phase. We've kind of reached uh, our support here, and we're bouncing from that, so we'll have to keep an eye on that one as well. So that's it. Quick, easy day. Um, a lot of good stuff going on, obviously, with the markets. Bitcoin is up, Bitcoin is down, but overall we're up. So that's a good sign. Um, good things. U.S. overtook China and uh, hash rate. Uh, large ETF in Canada obviously had their uh, ETF going to mutual funds. And then NFTs coming to Coinbase and the ARK Invest and the other one are looking to get Bitcoin futures ETFs. So let me know your comments down below. I hope you guys have a great day. It's not a bad day. It's a good day for crypto. Any day that we're in a green uh, is a good day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye.